it's your girl Adriana, and um, today God is having me to go over a couple of things with you all. So without further ado, let's get it right into it. So um, the first word that God gave me, um, it was He revealed it to me um, at the Revelation at two twenty one. I wrote it down, y'all. The um, the uh, time and the revelation that He gave me was to do right by the Lord our God and His people, and He will do right for you. And y'all, this revelation came after I had to literally kept reading um, Isaiah 58, uh, the chapter, all over again. And sometimes I, um, like, I read the chapter and I have to go back to a specific word or a specific um, verse that I wasn't understanding. Just keep asking God for confirmation and revelation and just to make sure it was all him and not me, okay? So, um, in that revelation, he said, do right by the Lord our God and his people and he will do what's right for you. So, um, immediately I thought, like, Lord, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm doing what you have called me to do. Like, what's going on? And the thing was, it's not that I was doing anything necessarily wrong. The thing is, I could be doing more. We, all of us, could be doing more than what we are doing. And I'm not saying more as in step out of God's will. No. I'm saying more as in whatever God has told us to do for us and, you know, that we should love our, um, our neighbors as ourselves like do what god has told us to do from the beginning y'all also um in um isaiah um, isaiah 58 uh verse 7 it says it is not to share your uh, is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor um uh, wandered with a uh, shelter uh with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and not turn away from your own flesh and blood Y'all, it spoke to me. Like, and God, he actually had me to, um, let me try to go back to this scripture. And, um, it really, like, talks to me, y'all. Like, um, it just stands out to me. Because, y'all, we can do so much more than what we're doing. You know, um, we sometimes, and I say we because, y'all, it's all of us. It's not just me. It's not just y'all. It's all of us. Um, we can have things and sometimes covet those things. Y'all, we're not supposed to covet nothing. Y'all, there are people that are in need of, of a lot more things, you know, than we are. So, y'all, whatever we, you know, uh, after we have um, did for our household, y'all, whatever we have left, we need to be able to do for other people. And that's for all of us. That's for me. That's for y'all. That's for all of us, okay? So, yeah, y'all, we got to do better. We got to do better as a community. We have to do better as sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, okay? So, yeah, y'all, that was um, the first word. The second word was pretty good too. So without further ado, let's get right into it, y'all. And also, this is for the body of Christ. We have to do better as the body of Christ, okay? Of oh, Jesus Christ. So yeah, y'all. Without further ado, let's get to this next word. Um, so this next word is: How can you really receive this new thing that God is doing if we're still holding on things of the old? You know, and that can be for different things, okay? So let me go ahead and go into the scripture, okay? So, the two scriptures that God gave me was Matthew 9 and 17, and also Isaiah 43 and 19. So, um, Matthew 9 and 17, it says, And no one puts a uh, new wine into old wineskins, for, old, uh, for the old will burst from the pressure, spilling the wine, into, uh, spilling the wine and ruin, ruining the uh, skins. New wine is stored in new wineskins, so that both are preserved. So the um, next one is Isaiah 43 and 19. It says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So y'all, God is really doing this new thing. And the thing is, in order for him, in order for you to really receive what he's doing, you have to let go of the old mindset, the old thoughts, the old feelings, the old, the old. In general, y'all, the old and um that is something that um is very important y'all we have to let go of the old in order to really receive this new thing that god is doing because i'm telling you god is really doing it y'all he's really doing it so um in order for us to really receive we have to let go of the things of the old we have to continually renew our minds every day every single day y'all that's something that i'm actually learning because if you do not renew your mind every day it will be easy for the enemy to get in there you know, and try to set up false things that are not true. He's trying to make sure that you do not go, that you abort the mission because he knows that he can't, 
He can't do nothing about what God has promised you. Only you can delay yourself. Only you can talk yourself out of the promise. So, y'all, you have to literally renew your mind in God every day. Every day. Whatever God has promised you, do not let it go. And this is for me and for y'all, y'all. We cannot let go of God's promise to you. If he has promised you something, keep hold on to it. And whatever God said, whatever God said, he is going to do okay. So, yeah, y'all. Now it's not the time to delay. It's not the time to back down. It's the time to keep going. Um, also, for those who are um, standing, don't stop standing. Whatever God has promised you, don't stop standing. We got this, okay? God got us, and we got this. We got him, and he got us. Jesus got us, okay, y'all? And um, I believe there's going to be a lot of supernatural things, amazing things from God, from God that are about to happen. Jesus name and it's going to be so amazing you know that song um, Tasha Tives um, I'm getting ready to see something that I've never seen eyes haven't, uh, eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard the kind of blessings that's about to fall on me <laughs> it's happening okay but uh, without further ado y'all I love y'all and God love y'all more peace salvation call y'all <laughs> so without further ado let's get to it so you guys, we're going basically you're gonna repeat after me and we're going um is um we're going over Romans ten and nine, okay? So repeat after me, y'all. Say, Father God, I declare with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that you, Father God, raised him from the dead. I am saved in Jesus' name. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I love y'all. God, I love y'all more. Without further ado, 